Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into family history or working with genealogy software, then you've probably come across something called a GEDCOM file, spelled G-D-C-O-M, with the file extension .get. But what is it exactly? And why is it so important in the world of family trees? Well, in this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about GEDCOM files in simple terms. And trust me, if you're using software like Family Tree Maker, Legacy, Roots Magic, or any other major genealogy program, this is something you must understand. So let's dive in. GEDCOM stands for Genealogical Data Communication. It's a standardized file format for saving and transferring family tree data. When you create a family tree using any genealogy software, all the details, like names, birth dates, relationships, marriage info, death dates, notes, and even some sources, can be saved in a GEDCOM file with the .get extension. So it's like a digital package that carries your entire family history in a clean, text-based format. Now, if you were to open a .get file in a text editor, you'd see a bunch of structured code like this. It might look a little geeky, but each line contains specific information about a person or relationship. It's actually quite organized. And because it's a universal format, almost every genealogy software understands it. Here's where things get even better. You can export your GEDCOM file from one software and import it into another without losing your primary data. For example, you can export a .ged file from Family Tree Maker and import it into Legacy Family Tree. Or take a GEDCOM from Roots Magic and open it in Ancestry.com or MyHeritage. Even web-based tools like GenoPro or Gramps support .ged files. This makes it super easy to switch platforms or back up your family tree without starting from scratch. But yes, there are some limitations. While it does transfer most core information, such as names, dates, and relationships, media files like photos and videos usually aren't included. Only the file paths or links are saved, not the actual images. Also, some custom fields, like unique tags or advanced formatting, might not be perfectly preserved between different software. So, why is GEDCOM important? Because it's the key to freedom and flexibility in genealogy research. Whether you're upgrading software, collaborating with someone, or creating backups, GEDCOM files help you keep your family data safe and transferable. You can also use GEDCOM to share your family tree with relatives, submit your tree to online databases, or create beautiful family charts using third-party tools. So, to sum up, .GED files are like your passport in the genealogy world. They allow you to carry your data across borders, whether it's on Family Tree Maker, Legacy, Roots Magic, Ancestry, or any other platform. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Family Tree tips, and drop a comment if you want a step-by-step -step guide on exporting or importing a GEDCOM file in your favorite software. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.